All right, so it is now day three or four after Eponine's pregnancy and day three after Millie's pregnancy. Eponine had ten babies and Millie had 11. So I'm going to show you Eponine's babies. First one getting the babies, well looking at the babies, you want to move the mother mouse to another cage and uh, something with some toys and food for her to have so that she's just not worried. Then once you've moved the mother out of the room in her other cage, you can carefully get the babies out. Now what I did is I can move this up. That way I don't have to like disturb the nest too much. Um, and there they are. There's ten of them. Six darker ones and four light ones. I don't think any will be white because the father was gray and the mother was black, so pretty sure that's not happening, but we'll see. So after um, three days or four days, depending on how much your mouse trusts you, you can um, pull, pick them up. Some people say five days for picking up and three days for touching, but I think, I mean, it's already been a day for my mouse and she's been fine with me picking them up. I don't think it really makes a difference to her since she's not in the room, whether I just touch them or whether I hold them. Um, I would recommend holding more than one in your hand at a time while they're still hairless, just so that they keep their warmth in, because you're supposed to hold them for a little while. But not not a long, long time, but maybe like 10 minutes a day for the first couple days. Some people say different times, but when they're hairless, I like to just keep them in, in their house as long as possible so that they can stay warm. And, yeah, that's about it. Um, I will check in with you guys at another point in these little guys' lives.